In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build this power generator that makes 300,000 stress units with the create mod. So without further ado, let's get to building. For this build, we'll need a 13 by 7 block foundation. These are all the items we'll be using in today's build. We'll start by breaking out these 16 blocks. Then we'll place 18 blaze burners here. On top of these blaze burners, we'll place two 3x3x4 three by three by block tall fluid tanks. Then we'll place 18 steam engines on the side like this. And we'll connect each of these steam engines up to a horizontal shaft. Now we'll place five in case chain drives here. Now we'll place one cog wheel, two in case chain drives, and a speed controller with a large cog wheel on top. Now we'll place two gearboxes here and make them both vertical. Then we'll place a cog wheel below this one and a shaft below this one. We'll break out these two blocks and place two in case chain drives. Then we'll place two item vaults here and then we'll break out these two blocks and place a belt. We'll place 25 fluid pipes in a 5x5 five five grid like this. We'll place a cauldron on top of each of the fluid pipes. Then we'll place 25 blocks here with a pointed dripstone below each. Then we'll place a copycat panel on each side to contain the lava that we'll put on this square. Then we'll fill in the entire area with lava. Now we'll place one output brass funnel here with an input and a site funnel next to it and then one output on the back and input next to it. And we'll replace the block under the output with a depot. Now to feed these blaze burners we'll be using a mechanical arm to put the lava buckets in so we'll go ahead and right click each of the blaze burners with the mechanical arm in our hand. Then we'll right click this depot so it knows where to take the lava bucket from. And we'll right click this depot so it knows where to put the empty bucket back after it gets used. Then we'll place the mechanical arm here. We'll filter this to only allow empty buckets and we'll filter this to only allow lava buckets. We'll place back 10 blocks like this. Then we'll place an infinite water source here and we'll make another infinite source here. Now we'll place a fluid pipe here with a mechanical pump going up into it. We'll do the same thing on this side as well. We'll filter this to only output empty buckets. We'll place a spout on top of this belt. We'll place a mechanical pump facing this direction with three fluid pipes going into the spout and two coming from the cauldrons. Now we'll place a lava bucket here and throw an empty bucket into this funnel. Now you want to set this rotation speed controller to 180 RPM. And once you have gotten the system started, everything should start working correctly. As you can see, it's starting to power up some of the blaze burners. The mechanical arm is working. Now you can place a speed controller here with a large cogwheel on top and set this to whatever speed you want. And you can connect all of your other machines up to this. After the couple thousand stress units that the mechanical pumps and arms used combined, you should have 292,000 stress units to use for any of your other factories or machines. This is the finished build. Don't forget to leave a comment down below so what you would like to see me build next. And while you're down there, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.